world, it is time to race for some first clears. People are going to be taking on some uncleared levels. And I am going to invite you to play alongside me and race me for the first clear. So that is the plan here. We're going to start the races at 11.30, 25 minutes from right now. And uh, that's the plan. That, my good friends, is the plan. What's up, Kyle? It's been a while, Kyle. All right. Very nice. Pop out the chat. And we'll be ready for that. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, I got to watch... Uh, Interstellar's coming back to the movie theaters, people. Did you hear about that? Did you hear about that, people? Good morning, Suze. Interstellar coming back to the movie theaters. That's pretty exciting news, people. I didn't get to see it in the movie theaters. So I think... I rarely get excited to see anything at the movie theater. I probably average one trip every couple of years. And I think this will warrant it. Interstellar in the movie theater. Come on. Hans Zimmer. My boy Hans. See, you know when I first got into Hans Zimmer? All you youngins getting into Hans Zimmer at Interstellar. I got into Hans Zimmer at Gladiator. <laughs> Russell Crowe. That's when, I, that's when I was really like, wait a minute. Who in the world is this composer? What's happening here? And then it was just a laundry list. It's unbelievable just how many scores uh, Hans Zimmer's done. He's unbelievable. Good morning, Suze. What's up, Mr. Blue? All right, let's get down to business, people. Let's get right down to business. There we go. All right. We're making it happen, people. What's up, Fernando? Susie missed last night's stream, but you caught up on it. Okay, fair enough, Suze. Fair enough, Suze. And if this works, then we're done. Whoa, it's stuck. Well, okay, it kind of worked. We'll just leave it at that. All right, people, let's get to the game. Let's get into the game. Ev knows what's up with Interstellar. Come on, people. That's an amazing movie. That is an amazing movie. So is Gladiator. If you've never seen Gladiator, old, old one, but a good one. And again, that's when Hans really got the party started. But I mean, he did... He, he Totally different sounding... That's gotta be a min jump, right? Total... What's up, John? Good morning, Jessica! Uh, a totally different vibe of a soundtrack, but also amazing. True Romance. Definitely not a family-friendly movie. But an amazing one with an amazing soundtrack. Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer. I actually got to... Uh, as an awesome gift... I had a special someone bring me to um, to a candlelight Hans Zimmer performance in Boston. It was epic. There we go. Whoa! What's up, Marad? Hey, three. Hans Zimmer. I'm going to have to bust out the list. I'm going to bust out the Wikipedia list. Because the list is just ridiculous. I'm sure, I think, yeah, Mission Impossible 2 is in there. There's an amazing, like, um, classical guitar piece 
named after the girl lead character called Naya, which is so good. It's ridiculous. Ba do 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 do. There we go. I know what to do that test. Bop. You ready, people? You ready? Did Kung Fu Panda? <laughs> Most hold on. Let's get. Let's go back in time. Yeah, to the '90s. We're going all the way back to the '90s, people. Thelma and Louise toys. That Robin Williams movie. Good gracious. There we go, John. There's true romance. Cool Runnings. The Lion King. The Lion King. Come on. Come on now. Come on. As good as it gets. I've talked about that a couple times. Is one of my favorite movies. Helen Hunt. Uh, Jack Nicholson. What's up, Jeff? There's Gladiator in 2000. Okay, so technically not a 90s movie. Pearl Harbor. Another one I've talked about. A long movie, but actually a really good one. What's up, Micah? Did The Ring. Did The Ring. The music for The Ring. I, that's one I saw in the movie theater. Did the music for the holiday? Pirates of the Caribbean? Come on! Dun da 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 It's such an epic one. I'm telling you, it just the list just goes on and on and on. It just goes on and on and on and on. Yeah. I can't believe the Lion King. How did I not know about that? I didn't realize he did the Lion King. Okay, well that's a nice little aside. Shout out to Hans Zimmer, a legend, an absolute legend. All right, then we are going to start racing for first clears in 18 minutes. Imagine that got me a copyright claim, singing the Pirates of the Caribbean theme. Da, 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 ba, da. That was so much of the fun of playing the, um, oh, of playing the, whoa, that was so much of the fun, what's up, Michael T, of playing Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, that's one thing they really do right with the Lego games, is they typically will get the real deal music, since it's, you know, officially licensed. So that's one of the advantages. Oh, come on. I wish I knew they were coming. I guess that's what the... They're showing me. Oh, buddy. That was close. Whoa! Do I have to actually take out that dude? Where are we going here? This is a wild ride. This is a very cool level. Hey! We got the power. We got the power. Alright. Oh, boy. Alright, there's that lovely checkpoint. Came with a star. Did not expect that. Very nice. Zimmer. Whoa. Oh, buddy, I should have, uh, this was not a great place to stop, but we worked it out. Not a great job, Pat. Oh, boy, little floater. I don't know what just came out of that. Checkpoint. I bet I was too slow. I was. Okay, this is going to be a cool ending. I don't know Sylvester. I don't know Sylvester. Hello, Epic. What's up, Ron? Shout out to the Philippines. Oh, I got to hurry up here. Here we go. 
Okay, we're way ahead of it. Okay, that was awesome. That was a really, really, really cool. Wow. That was an amazing level. I gotta give it up. What's up, Matt? Back to the future in Rocky. Okay, those are huge. All right, there we go, Dan. I'm gonna have to look into my buddy Silvestri. Had no idea. Okay, that was a great level. We are 14 minutes away from racing for first clears, if that interests you. So you've got your Switch handy. you got Mario Maker 2. You're ready for some first clears? Get in the game. Thanks, Matt, Jeff. Good morning, Greens. Good morning, Greens. McDonald's. Not a sponsor. Oh, my gosh. It looks crazy. Troll. Okay. Ooh, for J-Man. J-Man's amazing. And there you have it, my friends. Tuesday, April 16th. Here we are. What's up, Charles? Hello to my good friend, Charles. Charlie! That was unfortunate. I was holding jump thinking I was going to bounce there. There it is, greens. That's a good one. Little Mario peace sign. Little Mario peace sign. Oh, I was actually out in the sun earlier, and it felt so nice, people. I gotta do a better job of actually getting outside. Because it's so beautiful. I was a little behind. Charles in charge. Michael T said, is Charles in charge? Charles is in charge of our days and our nights. Charles in charge of our wrongs uh -oh, and our rights. Good morning, Nathan. You're in time. <laughs> Charles was... Charles was uh, singing along as well. If you're not familiar, people, there was a sitcom with Tony Danza. The Tony Danza Extravaganza. And, uh... The theme song... The show was called Who's the Boss? And the theme song... Wait. Am I... Hold on. No, the, so, I just said all that wrong. It, it, just, it just sunk in. Wait a minute. Charles and Charles... Charles in Charge is different. Yeah, Scott Bio. There we go. There it is. I totally flipped it. Charles in Charge and Who's the Boss are separate. I combined them. It had been long enough that they became one. Getting sunshine in the morning is important. You ain't kidding, Greens. Exactly. Adrian goes for a walk every day to get your steps in. That's brilliant. Going to be 93 in Austin. That's too much, JD. Big shout out, JD Gaming, the legend. Scott Bio. Charles in Charge of our days and our nights. Like... Joni loves Chachi. That's also Scott Bio, right? Okay, people, we're really going back into the database. If you grew up, if you're around my age, then you know any of that stuff from Nick at Night or, uh... Yeah, they used to air the old shows on Nickelodeon. Infinite Corridor. That sounds intimidating. Wow. It looks like an infinite corridor. High of 85. High of 85. I hear you, Dan. I definitely had a crush on Alyssa Milano. From... That's who's the boss, right? I can't keep track. My old school TV. I liked Wonder Years, Happy Days, uh, 
like all the old shows, really. Ha! <laughs> nice job, Pat. That's not gonna fly. Okay, this looks interesting. This at least has a very... Huh. Yeah, I'm sure that was Colin Michael T. Patty boy. Come on now, people. There we go. Okay, that's the beginning. Oh my goodness, I just noticed the level creator. Maybe that's it. Maybe I maybe I put the shell I get in the shell. I bet you that's it. I get in the shell. Then jump. Then jump out. No, that didn't feel right. And then I need to re grab the spring. This is wild. How could I ever do that? That's definitely not what I'm supposed to do. That's under. What could that be? Maybe I just crashed down? Oops. Maybe I'm just supposed to crash down to the dry bones shell? You know what I'm saying, people? I gotta throw that earlier as well. No. No, because I gotta believe I'm supposed to be at that fire to jump through. Maybe jump over while holding it. Let's try that. Let's try that, Epic. That's a good idea. I gotta get that toss sooner. Yes! Good job, Epic. That was it. But now it feels like this timing got messed up. Whatever, we made it through in 60 seconds. Well, we made it to the next room. What's the record? Any room in the timer? That's a good question. No, one second. One second to spare. So we got to do it all quickly. Thanks, Mr. Blue. Good eye. And see, that means I can't get away with that. So I might as well iron this out right now if I'm going to bother with this level at all. See? That made a big difference. Okay, we're back. Uh, uh, first half is, is locked in. We have the first half. The question that is in my mind is what is the second half gonna look like? Yeah, see, if you do it fast enough, you're supposed to be ahead. That That makes more sense to me. Oh, I'm trying to cheat every corner here. Cut every corner. Yes. Okay, so we're supposed to enter at 61. The first half is is all set. Huh. Well, that's more progress. It's more progress. Now we just have to consistently get back there. Hmm. 
Oh, late, late. I gotta jump later there, Patty Boy. Gotta jump later. No! That's so sad. Well, we're gonna practice the second room since we're here. We're gonna go ahead and practice the second room while we have the chance to. I'm supposed to... I don't know what that indicator means. All right, we're back at it. What's up, Laz? Let's see if we can make progress here. Okay. Oh, no. I threw the shell too late. Yeah, I have to throw that shell earlier. Okay, that's progress. So that's what the power's for. All right, this is gonna be tough. And here, let me take this. Oh, no. Nope, not that. It's not gonna happen at 11.30. The races will begin when I finish this level. There we go. Room one is locked in. Progress, Jess. It's a very cool level, Nathan. Dude. Okay. What's up, Orlando? Nice to see you. Oh my gosh, we got away with it. Didn't really deserve to, but we did. What's up, Mike? No! Okay, big progress. We're oh, but the time is only at 45 seconds. So I'm so wrong. I said halfway. My math was way off. I was not using 80 as the starting number like I needed to. This is an 80-second speed run with no practice door. We're still not halfway through. With as much as, as we put into it, we're still not halfway through, people. And now to make progress, we have to make it all this way. I don't know. It works with a twirl. You gotta throw it early and do a twirl. It's a very cool level though. Level design wise, it's awesome. I just would have really appreciated a practice pipe. That's what I would have really, really loved. But this level creator doesn't seem to be a big believer in practice pipes or doors. Wow, so what's up, Jose? Shout out to Vegas.
the good news is room one looks lo locked in. You didn't go to work today? There you go. You playing hooky or did you actually got a reason? Or actually, don't publicly admit it one way or the other. Oh, I was once one room early. Pretend I didn't ask that, Jose. Have a great day off. <laughs> you got to be careful nowadays, people. You take a day off and you're... Uh, your boss is going to peruse your social media. Not necessarily absolutely going to happen, but 2024, it's a real possibility in a way it didn't used to be. Can you imagine, people? Can you imagine growing up in a time that you could call out of work and there was literally no way to tell where you were? That's what it used to be. <laughs> there it is, I'll say. <laughs> I respect it. Pat, what are you doing? Thanks, Jorit. I believe we can get the clear. It's just a matter of at what cost. At what, co at what cost will we obtain this clear? This was supposed to be my 100th Super World. This, this right here. This level is from what was going to be my 100th Super World. Until I watched a clear video. What's up, Double Stab Bomb 35? Until I watched a clear video of the final level. And I said, never mind. Not because I don't think... Oh, not because I think I can't do it. But, um... And see, I, I can get down with the no checkpoint, Nathan. The thing that the thing that made me turn away from it and decide, you know what, I'm not going to play the Super World, is there's no practice. There's not even the practice door. Usually, if you get, like, a... 60 second or more speed run that's really tough. Off, I'll go as far as to say oftentimes you will get practice doors or at least a practice pipe, some sort of practice travel <laughs> so that you can travel so that you can practice the future sections without having to beat the first section every single time because the nature of it this is what 30 second how let's let's pay attention to the timer. Just a single attempt to have even a chance to see more of the level. 20 to 30 seconds every time. Dude. Hold everything, Jordan came through with the stars. I didn't see it. Thank you, Jordan. You. Oh, the superstar leader, the star drop is for you. There you go, Jose. Well, glad you're here, buddy. Hey, Christian and Tana. All right. Well. Well. See, so, like, at this point, I'm sick of the first section, if I'm being totally honest with you. It's cool, but I, I've done it too many times now. It, it feels boring. Ugh, until, in, and then a mistake like that, it, it, like, it, it makes it so whatever the fun factor was, making progress. Actually, that's a good way to, to express it. If there's no practice to it, you're just almost guaranteeing that... Before you even hit the halfway point, it's going to start to feel like a chore. And that's where we're at. It just gets boring doing the first section over and over just to make, just to have a chance. Because remember the nature of this, people. Since I don't know what's coming, and it's a speed run, you can bet obstacle to obstacle, like you would break it up into jumps. Wherever we're at, the furthest point we've made it, best case scenario is we make it two or three beyond reacting first right away. Then we have to try to remember that point, what we have to keep in mind. And then every attempt for the next five minutes, try to keep it in mind. So if you do manage to get back there, you have a chance to react. This is, again, this is why a practice pipe can be so powerful. Practice pipe, wow, people. If you're a level creator out there and you want to make a really tough challenge, you can, like, exponentially make your level more fun and accessible if you're willing to give that simple little practice door. And you know what's really cool about a practice door, people? It doesn't mean you have to clear the level more than once if you're clear checking. Like, that's part of the hassle with adding checkpoints, is now you have to clear the level 
both with them and without them. Dude, but see, I'd love to just run this like 10 times in a row. That That's what would make this 10 times more fun for me. If I could just take this setup, do it 10 times in a row, get the muscle memory locked in. So then next time we get here, at the very least, we can count on a little progress. You know what I'm saying? At the very least. So I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I am a cool idea, but wow, if it could have been so glorious with the with the practice door. Could have been glorious for me. But let the record show there's other people out there that prefer it with no practice door. They think a practice door ruins the whole thing. So that opinion exists too. Certainly is not mine, but that opinion exists as well. And that in moment like that, people, is exactly why I did not play that Super World. Because the last level is ten times longer than that. Ten times harder. And again, no practice door. So, that's okay. That's all right. Not everything is for everybody. You know what I mean, people? Not everything is for everybody. You know what I mean? It can be as simple as that. So now we're going to get to racing. Let's race for some first clears. How quick you got the wall level down to, Dustin? I got the clear once and then ran away. That's the kind of trick that uh, is not helping me going forward. And specifically, he's talking, the wall is an unassisted triple shell jump. The, the most I've ever seen in an endless run is the triple shell jump assisted. I've never once, other than that one and only misplaced level, seen the unassisted. And I don't plan on ever doing it again. Once was enough. I have no, no desire to do that trick ever again. Because, again, it's just so hyper-specific. Like, part of the motivation, right? You learn a shell, you learn a single shell jump. Now, you can access thousands and thousands of Kaizo levels that you couldn't before. If you manage to spend the hundreds of hours to get the triple unassisted, locked in, congratulations, you can now play two extra levels that you couldn't before. That's what I mean as far as, like, the juice not being worth the squeeze. I like to get, like, uh, 7 to 8 out of 10 on any given discipline. But the wall, that level represents a 9 or 10 out of 10 for uh, shells. That's my opinion anyway, people. That's what you get around here. My opinion. And uh, you know what else I was thinking of, people? Let's do this. What's up, F? Let's do this. And you know what? I think my tags weren't helping us. I think we should keep all the tags on. Especially where I was looking for one to two minute, I realized that the short and sweet was probably not helping for one to two minute levels. So we're going to try this now. We're going to normal 90 days... By clear rate, right? Yes. All right. We've got a consistency level. It takes a minute to do. Well, let's see what the trick is. You can do one shell jump after a few hours. You don't play every day. You have to learn every time we get a level. Okay, yeah, that's fair, Jorit. You gotta be consistent. How about the assisted triple level? What about it? How about? Like, how fast do I have that down to? Oh my gosh, what is this? Am I a dog person or a cat person? I'm more of a dog person. I'm down with cats, though. Wait, what is the trick? <laughs> is the trick just don't hit the spikes? Oh, I get the sense. Okay. Well, I don't get the sense that I'm doing this fast enough. If I had to guess, I don't have much of a chance here. Okay, it's a lot easier if you can get the second jump. Like that. Maybe that's the trick? As I miss. Yeah. 
I wonder how many this is. I don't know about this, people. I don't know about this one. Is anybody out there racing with me yet? If you're getting anywhere close, I don't want to take away the win from you. But I don't know about this one. We'll give it one more try, I guess. So is that the trick? Maybe it's... You're racing, but you don't like this level. You're dog person, too. Convert it into a cat dad. There you go. The thing that's still bothering me a little is I want to... I want to know what the trick is. And I feel like it's... I feel like this little spring section... Well... Here, I'm going to make a little switch. Susan's saying you can't get the first jump. What if you do it from here? Just jump on top of the... This is going to be my strat. I want to try once. Maybe just get two jumps. And then don't fall. No! <laughs> See, if you get if you jump on the first frame, you get the height. What's up, Lewis? I bet you that's the intent. I bet it's supposed to be like this. You ready? And then you then you go. Like that. Because then you could really get going quickly. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's got to be it, right? There you go. Nathan got the first jump. Have to go straight away to reach the higher platform. Yeah. So, yeah, I think you... Wait, what was the clear check? A minute? A minute 17. Wow. Come on, Pat. I th I'm pretty sure this first jump is just jump at the first frame. Yep. And then I missed. And then I missed. See, I can get in that rhythm. Oh, I almost caught the corner there. Oh, my good gracious. That was... Hey, that was almost it. Oh, my goodness, people. Oh, my goodness. Pe Here's what I'm so afraid of. Hey, wait a minute. We have a door. Our first door. We can at least see what's inside. The next row is what's inside. 
So that's halfway. That's likely halfway. So now, as far as any kind of time, we want to be up to the top by 40. Oh, come on. Wow. What a wild little idea. I gotta believe that's the strat, the double jump thing. <laughs> no checkpoint, Andrew, no. Nope. Not in a level called consistency is key. Almost saved it. Oh. What's up, Jan? Have to do the climb three times? So that means you can get up there at like 30? That was a nice little save. Yikes. First jump on first try. Getting the thing started is no joke either. Definitely super expert. Definitely super expert. Saw the door, but you're out of town. All right, we'll give this five more tries. Five more tries. If I can make it to the door at 40 seconds, we'll continue. Oh, come on, petty boy. Almost. No, no, what a waste. Ah. Four more tries. No, almost the save of the century there. No, I almost had it again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's starting to hurt my wrist at this point. Oh, well, I got there at 36. Oh, and I missed the first jump. That's a bad sign. Okay, three more. Three more! What's up, Jeff? Oh, my gosh. Wow, what was that little move I was just doing? I was, like, consistently catching just the corner. I wasn't even getting the double jump, people. Did you notice that? Like that. Couldn't do it twice, though. I don't know. I, this is the thing. It's hurting. It's hurting my hands. But I'm more and more intrigued. Come on. That doesn't count. Oh, I ran out of steam. No. <sighs> Forty five, Patty Boy. 
Oh boy. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Okay, I'm going to call that the win. That's a cool idea, but I'm telling you, my wrist... I, once when I was really getting consistent, what, what failed was my wrist just stopped. It just stopped. Uh, that's the trouble with consistency levels. They really do quickly take a toll on your wrists. It's the same with consistency shell jump levels. You end up like being too stiff. Okay, so that's gonna that's not gonna do it. It hurts too much, people. I'm too old. Leave that one for the young bucks. Let's try Sven. Very challenging. You ain't kidding, Sebastian. That was a tricky one. I feel like if I could if I could have gone in if every if I could have brought everything I know now into my first couple attempts, I would have had a chance. If I could have fresh hands. I think I could have gotten because I was really I was really getting it at the end there. But again, that was part of why I was so discouraged, is what stopped me wasn't like failing. It was literally my hand not moving. <laughs> it's one thing if you're failing because you hit the wrong time. That's okay. Probably ain't gonna happen for you, buddy. Alright, what's going on here? here so far you want to keep the power you don't even have the key <laughs> what's going on here then who's got the key? Aha. Uh -huh. Survival. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. ba -ba -ba -da. That first room... That first jump was what was really was probably the toughest jump. Is just keeping the power up. It was a cool idea. Thanks for the nando. There we go, Ev, Ty, and Jess. What do we have here? Twenty-four seconds. It's too short. 14 seconds, too short. We want between one and two minutes. Tends to be the sweet spot. There we go. Uh oh, sorry about that. Baby. It's a speed run. Okay. What? Is that tell is that right? Did you see that people? There's a throw See, it so it is. It is telling me to throw it backwards. 
Because that throw indicator is facing that way. Do you know what I'm saying? It gives you this throw indicator. It Why would it want me to throw left? It can't possibly do anything, right? Well, just try try doing exactly what's indicated. Let's start there. Christian thinks I threw it the wrong way. That's what I was thinking, too. See, if I throw it straight, then what? Is it the hazard going to hit me? Bounce off the springs. <laughs> hmm? Maybe it's telling you to throw it at the end of the drop. Well, hold on. Now I'm going to try it. Now the thing we still haven't tried is doing what's indicated. I've The one time I tried, I failed. So I'm going to try to intentionally throw it backwards again. But I just can't imagine what that does for you. You see what I'm saying? Like, based on our little trip up there, there's nothing for the... It's... Right here. This is where we gotta pay attention. Not here. Not here. Hey! That's a first! Okay, this is where we have to pay attention, right here. Yeah, there's nothing. This is nothing. This is a big lie. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we do need the shell. But the shell... Here's why I'm confused. This is all gonna make sense in a minute, people. Pay close attention. Here's a Z. Can't mess up that, right? We know what that means. Now look right here. Exhibit A. Look at Mario staring right at me. Exhibit A. Take a look at this indication. Okay? We have what would be like the letter C. Okay? In the opening, that's showing you where to throw it. You throw it to the towards the opening. And that's what gets rid of these munches. This is typical indication. The indication we have for that jump that I'm failing, it's facing left. So I'm more and more convinced there's some bizarro way to throw it that gets that bounces there. What's up, Dale? This is in this has got sorted in normal. What's up, Jesse? Just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind as you sip your coffee. Smugly. <laughs> all right, here we go. Come on now. That's all a lie. Oh no, I need it. See it? Uh, how could it? Is there a clear video? No, Dustin. This is uncleared. What's up, Prince? This is uncleared. Oh. 
the only person that's ever done it is the level creator. That's part of what can make uncleared levels such a challenge. Oftentimes they're uncleared because something is not clearly... I keep... Okay, now that I've... You look, nothing is hidden. Mid-air, but when the shell is in the spikes. Like, in that... There, I did notice on that attempt, there is that little, like, gap. There's like a three block gap all the way on the left side. Maybe drop it in there? But see, why not just use a drop indicator? Like, this level creator is using... Oh, well, that looked nearly perfect. Ever played Super Mario Run? Yeah. So, I'm, it must be a later toss, and I think, I, I think, uh, Jorit is on the right track. And it's gotta go in that first little gap. It just doesn't feel like there's any way it 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 can get here cuz it's all lava. It's all lava. Has anybody got the program that we could just look at this part? Cuz I just don't see it. I don't know what we definitely need to meet up with that shell. Maybe why put the indicator facing that way. Is it possible? Because see, that's facing the right way. Maybe just oversight? That seems so unlikely in a level as complex as this. You know what I mean? They remembered to put a little one-up in the thing. Boom. We even get an arrow there. Wrong indicated the summer show. What do you mean, Christian? Maybe a shell jump? Well, that's the thing, Niccolo. You can be sure that I've got to bounce off the shell. The part that we're failing to understand is where and when to throw the shell so that it's there to jump off of. That's the big mystery at the moment. One of my favorite levels? No. Nothing like studying some control. There you go, Chris. You need to bring it down. Do not throw it back. Well, it needs to be in front. It needs to be ahead of me, Sam, because I have to b jump off of it. What's up, J-Rug? This is part of why it's so mysterious, people. That shell needs to somehow get under Mario's feet. That's part of what's really making this as mysterious as it is. Is how is this shell going to go from being in Mario's hands to being what I'm jumping off of by the time I fall into that pit. That's what's not adding up. Oh, are you saying throw it at the last second? You tried the very late throw, think you jump off of it at the bottom? So then I guess my the, my biggest hang-up was trusting that indication because that indication right there at the bottom of the screen is correct. So I really am baffled as to why the indication changed later in the level. That is very confusing to me. I, I don't know the logical answer. So at the last second, that's what we got to do. No, I, I, I'm 100% convinced we just got to throw it. Now that we've seen it and we have some confirmation that someone's got close to making that work, it definitely makes sense. The only part that it doesn't add up with is the indication. And if you've listened to what I've said, 
All I've talked about, essentially, <laughs> is the indication, right? I've had a lot to say about this indication. And as a result, I think that's what was misleading us. No, no, this still doesn't work. This still doesn't work. Because how, again, how is it going to get under my feet? I need to throw it early. Something's not right here. That indication, I'm, I'm going back to, I'm, I'm reversing my, uh, my decision. <laughs> because now I'm more and more convinced that indication is intentional. It's telling me something. What if, what if it's telling me I have to do a look back? Oh, maybe it's a look back. Yo, you playing too? Shout out to yo. Almost had it. In one way, yes. In another way, no. That last attempt, trying to throw it late, proved enough to me that there's no timing. That that shell's getting under my feet. I have to throw it up here. Come on, bro. How does that... How do I do that twice in a row? I figured that... I figured that was just a random, like, janky thing, but... Anytime you can do it consistently. I guess twice in a row isn't quite consistently yet. Three times in a row we'll call it consistently. But I don't know how to do that if I tried. Like, I'm not... There we go. See? I didn't do anything different. Didn't do anything differently there. Like this. What about... What about that? Patty boy! Patty boy! Patty boy! They call me Patty Boy. That is what the people call me. You're welcome to do the same. Come on now, let's finish this. No, I had to throw up! I didn't see the arrows! Okay, but we got this. It's the look back. Did you see that little look back? Now, all is right in the world. All is right in the world. And I knew it, people! I kept going on and on about the indication. I'm telling you, it didn't add up! It didn't add up that every other thing is so perfectly placed. It did not add up. Now we gotta do it again. Oh, it is not easy. Keep the pile there are hidden blocks at the thwomp. That sounds right. That sounds like you throw the thwomp, you throw the pile up, and the hidden block is gonna help activate it. Guarantee that it activates before you take damage. Maybe in the program it looks like it's a uh, it's a cheese thing, but if it's what I'm picturing, I think it's just a a mechanical thing. Come on, Patty boy. Patty boy, come on now. You need a key, you need to jump. I'm telling you people, I'm going to trust the level. I'll I'll take the L if I'm wrong. But Based on everything I've experienced up to now, I, I really do trust this level. It's hard for me to believe they'd throw a hidden, an intentionally hidden key. But they might be. Oh, gosh. Okay. You need a key. You need to jump, then throw the pow to get a key at indicator. Let me make sure I'm understanding. Jump up at the thwomp hidden blocks. Jump up at the thwomp, hidden, keep the pile. There are hidden blocks at the thwomp. It has a jump indication. Okay, so I think maybe what's being said here. Here's, here would have been... No! My recording space! The, the Sorry, people. My recording just stopped. That's very unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Okay, we'll do this. We will do this. And then start recording. Okay, what's up, Balin? Okay, so here's what I think is being conveyed. I think you're trying to tell me 
that I need this pile beyond this thwomp. I think that's what you're telling me, is that I need to keep the pile beyond the thwomp. Because that couldn't be clearer. If it's said that way, you know what I mean? There's no way to misunderstand. There's a jump indication at the thwomp, two arrows, and there's a throw indicator at the next part. Okay, so there we go. That confirms it. That confirms it. Okay, well, that is kind of unfortunate. Oh, come on, bro. That, okay, so it is trying to psych you out a little bit. It is trying to psych you out. Now I'm, I'm a little more convinced. After that, it seems like at the final section, they kind of became a bit more willing to deceive you. And you know what? I wonder if that's... I wonder if in a level creator's mind, they work so hard on the first section, they take care of you as the player, and then by the time they're making the grand finale, I gotta wonder if what's going through their mind is, I don't want this to be too easy after I put all this work in. Don't want this to be too easy. I don't want anyone to be able to get this on their first or second try. No matter how good they are, so we'll try to trick you a couple times. Because there's none of that in this. There's none of that. Oh, gotcha. Well, except for that. I don't know how I keep doing that. What's up, Heather? I do not know how I keep managing to do that that janky thing. I can't do it on purpose. I have no idea what makes it happen or not happen. It seems like just the random positioning of them. There we go. See? I did nothing different. I did nothing different, but now we gotta do this again. Oh! You messing up with the full jumps there? Yeah. I'm conflicted as to... I, I, if I could just like the first section, I would. I love the first section. I love the first section, and the experience of getting the first section was very satisfying. Already, for section two, the satisfaction is not there. bro I threw it right at the indication I threw it right at the indication so I want to throw it earlier than the indication I think I think they had the right thought in mind the pink arrows are jumps and the gray lines are throws at the beginning they have the pink arrows to indicate jumping over the spikes okay so there is some kind of hint there it's not troll. It used a different jump indication. If you trust the indication, you would not throw the pile. Right. You just have to be able to see the arrows. I, f I feel like that's the missing thing. As the person playing, I, the first time through, I never saw the arrows. The way it's designed, you don't see the arrows until the thwomp moves up. Unless when you enter the room, the first place your eyes go are right under the thwomp, which isn't likely. Your, your eyes are going to go right on Mario, make sure he's safe. So by the time your eyes are anywhere near the thwomp, the thwomp is down, covering the arrows. So you don't see them until after it gets you. That's why the... What's up, Joseph? What's up, Jedon? You're over in China. Shout out to you. What's up, Tim? Tim's at work. Uh, all right. And what's up, Super Trucker J? Oh, my goodness. That came with 500 stars. I didn't see it on there. Big shout out to you, Jedon. You are the super style of the star drop. <laughs> I'm going to play some Pokemon Violet. All right, people, let's play a game. Let's play a little game called Can You See the Arrows? Now hold everything. Hold everything. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, pay close attention. Technically, can't see. No, it's, it's after this. It's after this room. Pay close attention. But this is the thing. You'll trick yourself. You'll think that you can see it. If you you can technically see the arrows when you first enter the room, but keep in mind, there's absolutely no way you're looking <laughs> for indication at the second path. Here we go. Pay attention. Look under the thwomp. Okay. Now's when you. Okay. All right. I guess. All right. Uh, now that I'm there and seeing it, I'm going to, uh... Oh my gosh, bro. I, I'm i gonna retract. I'm gonna say you're right. I am going to retract. I think you're probably right to say it's most likely not, not intended to be trolly. It just felt that way to me. But ultimately, in hindsight, with all the context I will admit my feelings deceived me people as they often do feelings will often deceive you they are feelings are always valid but not always accurate and understanding what that little simple phrase means would have kept some people out of jail that are spending life sentences right now. Life sentences in jail. Regulating emotion. Regulation of emotion. Oh, gosh. Got away with something there. Okay, I think if I throw it at that, that if I th throw that timing, like as soon as I hit the top left corner, but then jump off of the right corner, bigger jump, it'll work. But that is crazy. This level's out of control. What's up, Tyler? It was good, but no, it was no throw indication. You're right, exactly, Nathan. I give it up to you. You're right. You were right on that one. I give it up to you. Come on, Charles. We got to get it done. I think the indicators in the second section are well-intentioned, bad level creation. I'm definitely on board with, with the idea that uh, it really isn't meant to be a trolley second section. I'm, re I'm retracting. I'm fully retracting. I agree. My feelings deceived me. And that's what I was going on and on about. <laughs> Your feelings will deceive you, people. It's important to know what you feel and why you feel it. Gosh, that was close. Come on, Pat. That was silly. Good morning, Jonathan! The amazing gaming band director. Jonathan, you know what? Just early the stream. That's from that, it was uh, level 6-4 or 6-5 from that speedrun super world that was going to be my 100th. Played it for like... Oh, I wish that didn't happen. I think I played it for uh, at least 10 minutes, and I hit a big wall. I hit that wall of... Let me get a practice pipe! If you're going to give me a long speed run, hook me up with the practice pipe. Man, that's so close. Did I search for unclear? No, this is uncleared normal. This level came up searching for uncleared normal levels. The s difficulty level two of four. <laughs> this is difficulty level two of four. Supposedly. It's not really. That's a lie. This jump alone puts it in a super expert right here. Patty boy, that is no joke. Oh my gosh. My brain almost betrayed me there. Woohoo! Okay, come on now, Pat. Please! Oh. 
Please bet! Dude, it is so out of control. What's up, Nacho? You can see how practice pipes would be pretty tough to add. No doubt. They're very difficult to add, Nathan. This is a, a huge reason why I'm sure we don't get them. That's, I would be sure, a big reason why they're not just standard. Is because it's a lot of extra work and difficult to do well. There's no doubt about that. No doubt about it. Oh my good gracious. We got it done. We got it done. All right, now, people, you ready? You paying attention? Because I am. Because I am. Come on, Pat. Late, late corner jump. Late corner jump, and I... Oh, gosh, you scared me. Late corner jump, late corner jump, please. Oh, my goodness, we've never made it here. Eight seconds on the clock. Oh, we did it! Ah! <laughs> wow! Wow. Good gracious, people. Normal. Two out of four difficulty right there. Two out of four. Good gracious. And I got the first clear. What's up, Kiwi? Yeah, that shell part is no joke, Alex. You decided to change paths. You went right into eight. There you go, Jonathan. I've been so anxious for you. <laughs> I've been so anxious for you because, uh, well, you know how I feel about it. I just hate. I just would hate to see my buddy trapped. But ultimately, I'm just projecting my anxiety onto you. So I apologize, Jonathan. Just trying to look out for you. You're amazing. Check him out, the amazing gaming band director. And thank you for the GGJ rug. Yo, Sebastian, Jan, Joseph, Charles. Jonathan, Barack, Kiwi, Susie, Balin, Christian, Jorit, Alex, Dale, Mike, John, Bernard. Shout out to Bernard. Thanks, Tana. We got what a normal level there, Super Trucker J. Thanks, Maria. Thanks, Fish. We got the first clear. We got it done. Okay, that definitely earned a SOTA. Undeniable. Undeniable. Matt, you just missed it. It, it was worthy of, uh, of a watch. Okay. Well, let's keep it going, chat. We got more first clears to acquire here. Championship. That seems like a good... Uh... Oh, but it's three minutes. Oh, my gosh. Do we dare? Look, Alex already played it a bit. Three minutes. We'll give this ten minutes. Let's try that. It takes three minutes to clear, so we'll give this ten minutes of attempts. See if any of us can get a three-minute first clear in ten minutes. That's, that's a tall order for any of us. In fact, we should consider this more of a team effort. If we, this style, maybe, I like that, like different categories for, like, I don't know, I'm obviously I'm making it up as I go along, but I'd like if, if there were different categories of first clear attempts or challenges. So right now, everyone who's racing, we just want, as long as one of us gets this in 10 minutes, we're calling it a win. What's up, Elisa? Stream's lagging for you, Matt. Sorry about that. <laughs> Excuse me. That's ten per we're ten percent done, people. We are twenty percent done. You know, I find for this, part of the trick is just figuring out where do you rest your eyes. Because you need to be able to see the upcoming P-switches. You want to keep track of Mario's position relative to the P-switch. So it's kind of like I'm looking 
like, up and to the right of where I would normally stare. I'm almost keeping Mario's feet intentionally in my peripheral. I noticed that, that with consistency levels like that, after a bit, my eyes just go into a certain spot. Okay, we're halfway done. We're halfway there. Now, I'm definitely expecting... I'm expecting a little switch up at the end. Like, the last ten will probably be a little wild. So we're gonna expect that. Now, see, this is a little more difficult visually. I'm really trying to be intentional about jumping between the two spikes above me. But this is what I mean about keeping your eyes in a weird place. Because I have to keep my eyes... I need to keep my gaze high enough to look out for the spike above the jump, but low enough that I have some sense of when to press the jump button off of the P-switch. Now, the longer I've done this, the clouds in the background are starting to be a problem. Like, they're starting to distract me in a way... It's similar to if you keep saying the same word over and over again, you know, it eventually starts to not even sound like a word. It's kind of that vibe. That, like, if I stare at something for too long, the background starts to look not different, but the clouds, like I'm saying, the clouds are pulling my pulling my vision towards the clouds in a way that I wasn't even noticing the clouds for the first half. But it's like, part of what you're dealing with is eye strain. Like, I obviously haven't... Wait a minute! Okay! All right, people, we got it done. Yeah. We got it done. Did we get the first clear? We did. Uh, okay, I'm really thankful they didn't mess up the ending. I thought for sure they were going to put the last 10 in a crazy spot or, like, with spikes or some kind of pixel-perfect thing. Okay, that was tough. Definitely takes some serious focus. <laughs> His eyes are going cross trying to watch. I hear you. Thanks, Mike, Charles, Sebastian, Matt, Susie, Prime Time. There we go. We had a nice rhythm to it, Kiwi. Thanks, Alex. We got it done, John. Thanks, Jonathan Maria. <laughs> do it while talking. There's that stream of magic. Oh, I don't want to do it twice. Once was enough. There we go. Thanks, Bernard and Dale. All right. Let's check out page two. No way! Yo got it at the same exact time! <laughs> Shout out to yo! We got it done, B. This is a task, supposedly. 20 seconds. Uh, we're going to do this just for the sake of it being a normal. Just for the meme. We're going to do this for the meme of it being a normal. All right, people? Check out this normal level we just found. We're going to make this into a video. We're going to call it Check Out This Normal Vid... Check Out This Normal Level I Found. That's the title of the video. And here it is. Here's what we have. Only nine attempts so far. Only nine attempts so far... First things first, we got to land here. There's a little room for us right next to uh, our buddy, the Thwomp. Okay. And now... How does this work? Oh, no. What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Hold on, what was the... Hold everything, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was the clear check? It could just be Hidden Star. This is really feeling like Hidden Star. It leads into a pixel-perfect gap. 20 seconds definitely makes it... a little suspicious. Maybe not, though. I don't know. It could really go either way. Huh. Okay. Well, let's take a couple. Let's take a couple attempts, as though we know it is possible. Try like this. See, like right there. That feels like that could be it. What's up, Brian? Have a nice little lunch break. There you go.
Okay, if I go a little earlier, I like that. Did I notice? Yeah, it does have tass in it. That's the only word I understood. Okay. I feel like that might be the gap. I'm hoping that there's just a gap that works. That you have to get to relatively quickly. Oh, I'm too far... Too far, um... Right. Or too late. It's too far left. I wish I, there's nothing hidden. We got to the second one. No dev exit. All right, people. Normal. I found this in normal. I think I'm convinced it's a ground pound. I think if you ground pound at the right time, this works. Maybe not. Hey, maybe it's easier than I thought. Maybe it's not quite as crazy. I guess it's... You have to be willing to take the other gap. Yeah, maybe ground pound's not the way to go. What's up, Martin? Get in the race! Look, this is a normal level for you. Let me know... What strat you come up with? Hey! That's it! Okay, we got this. That's it. It's legit. It's legit. We just gotta be ready to rumble here. Which I happen to be. So I wanna wait open. I want second boo circle open. Right there. Okay, and then if I do just like one ground pound cancel in the second one... That should give me enough time to reposition. Okay, here's my opening. Oh, okay. This is it. Okay, this is actually really fun. When the lives don't matter, of course. If I got this in Endless, I would be crying. Patty boy! And now we just do a little... Uh, is that it? Yeah, patty boy. All right. That was a wild level. I found that in normal. It's called normal. Woo, got it done. That was tricky. I li By the end of it, I liked it. But I would be crying if I got that in an uh, endless run, especially my endless normal run. Can you imagine that? Whew. There we go, Rye. Jonathan, Kiwi, Barack, and Alex. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. Okay. Let's keep it going. Ooh, do we dare a 50-second speed run? It's kind of long. Let's give it a whirl. It's the new normal, Sebastian. That's right. How'd you get the pole? Under the thwomp? I had to duck slide. Little duck slide. Thanks, Bernard, Balin, Martin, Maria, Alex. Definitely check out Sep, the S3 PTI. Be amazing. Yeah, I definitely, I want there to be a scoreboard, Jonathan, for sure. That's what I would like. I hope I wasn't supposed to bring a spring. Sixteen seconds on the clock. All right. Someone might have beat me. But I like that idea, Jonathan. I'm right there with you. We're in sync. We're right in sync. Bye, bye, bye. Don't want to be a fool for you. Okay, we got the first clear. Just another player in your game for two. I liked it. What's up, CJ? Thanks, Fernando, Kiwi, and Charles. Infiltration in the dark. Oh, that's an interesting beginning. It's a four second. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, this might be interesting to race. It'll probably take us all a couple tries. 
So let's see. This could be interesting. There we go, Bernard. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Jonathan knows it. That was in sync. I love in sync. One of the first uh, cassettes I ever bought was a um, Backstreet Boys, in fact. So you only have 10 seconds. You can do it in four. I'm betting we want that and this. Probably just good enough to do this. I bet you this is going to get us... No! What about this? Okay, something is not right then. Something is not quite right here. There's something hidden. Something is not adding up. Because with the star, there's a dev door. See, I knew something wasn't adding up. Where's it at? Is it down here? There it is. Yeah. All right, we'll leave the comment. Good eye, yo. <laughs> I knew if running there with star power wasn't going to do it, it probably wasn't possible. Let's leave that comment. Drop down left dev door. There we go. We let the people know. Let the people know so it doesn't ruin somebody's run needlessly. All right. Thanks, Barack and Kiwi. And I'm betting. Well, well, well. Yo! <laughs> With the first clear, nicely done, yo. Nicely done, yo. All right. Twisted Jungle sounds interesting. Two-minute level. Perfect. Here we go, Kiwi. What's up, Abby? Martin loves the yo levels. Who doesn't love a good yo level? Just wait till that Super World comes out. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, I think we're going to get a nice little traditional vibe here. Ooh, progressive. All right, section one. Wait, that, there we go, that's all I need. All right, a little bit on the waiting side, but it is what it is, people. We had to jump high enough to get the camera to show what's going on up there. Or else we would have been waiting here a long time. All right, one more. Got it. Nice. The music is awesome in 3D World. You ain't kidding. Mike's down for the race. The first clear race. Okay, we got it. That was a good little traditional level. And that one really was normal. That actually was two out of four difficulty. ba ba all right. Two minute fire trap castle. 
Well, is it fire trap like rising lava? I hope not. Because two minutes of rising lava does not sound fun. We'll see. When will the expert run return again? Probably tomorrow night. We'll bring the expert run back tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. Fire trap candle. That's a whole different thing, Kiwi. Maybe a swimming level? Yeah, exactly. And as long as... Okay, and the lava's staying put. That's what I cared about. There's definitely unclearities. You want to try that? Let's do that, too. Why not? We're going to try everything, people. Okay, this is amazing. Turns out, this level rocks. Box player going crazy right now. That's nice. Didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah, uncleared easy. They're not going to stay uncleared for long. But then again, I'm sure we'll get a lot of misplaced. Was that force damage? I don't know that I could have made it through without it. Now it's survival. Oh my gosh, there's something at every corner. Oh my gosh, we are really... Nobody! I gotta hope this is survival. And I hope it's happening off screen somewhere! No! I picked the wrong moment! People, we do not have a checkpoint. Oh my gosh! Oh, okay. This level's amazing. This level is amazing. And I'm not even mad that it doesn't have a checkpoint because I get what they're going for here. This room, this isn't bad, and they give you, they give you the other power up right up, right before the top section. Man, I could have done that. I should have been a bit more careful. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Easy to say now. Yikes, Pat. You really are, uh... Speaking of regretting not playing it a little more carefully, <laughs> why don't you, uh, factor some of that into your decision-making right now? No! Ah! Close one. Okay, we're almost at the power. Here we go. We made it. This is the checkpoint right here. That's the checkpoint. Now, I want to do everything in my power to not lose this. No, but wait. When we got dropped in that room, I had at least the mush, didn't I? See, like right here. How do I not take damage? I got to let you walk on through? Okay. Any chance this turns into something different? No. That's mush no matter what. Okay, and now I'm here. So we start with no power. Oh my good gracious. I am very 
thankful. No! Okay, be wary of that, Pat. Be wary of the bounce. No! Oh, there goes everything. Oh, my gosh. And I totally got trapped immediately. Ouch. He found a dev star. Where's it at? At the beginning? Like at the beginning, beginning? Wait, you can't put hidden blocks until... Like right here or something, right? Because I would love to just swim through the first part. That would make it a little less painful getting back there. Where is it at? Where would you hide a star? If you were a level creator, where would you hide the star? Maybe right next to the pipe? No. Somewhere that you wouldn't typically swim. Nothing? Okay, yo. Maybe the chat delay. One way or another, we'll just abandon this mission. It's taking too long. Pull up the program. It's later on. Okay. It's because you said at the start that I was thinking it was like on that, like right near on the opening screen. But I got you now. Somewhere random. It's right here. So I'm near it now. I'm near it's in here somewhere. To the left of the pipe above. Well, I did say near a pipe, didn't I? This one? Near this? Must be a different pipe. This pipe, probably. Too far! It's right at the corner where the ceiling slopes. Go back right. Right here. Go back right. It's right at the corner where the ceiling slopes. Right at the corner. The ceiling slopes through the narrow gap. Okay. We're going off the rails here. It's right here. To the left of that pipe above. Too far. Go back right. It's right at the corner where the ceiling slopes. Through the narrow gap. On the right. There it is. I had such great things to say about this level. Maybe just a kid made it. And they didn't want to deal with clearing it. But I mean, the stars, does, it's, it's so... You still have to swim slowly. Okay, and Sam's saying there's multiple stars, so the stars throughout the whole level. Even the end? Well, it seems like especially at the end, right? Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't feel like a very useful star, exactly. That's what I'm getting. Oh, and now I'm going to Well, now we'll find out if that's a progressive power. We have yet to find that out. And now we will. It is not. Imagine if in Mario Maker 3, they found a way. Aha, you can make it right away. If they could find a way to take away the ability to hide stuff like that. See, I need to approach this much different. See, I need to not end up in that position that I just ended up in. I have to be smarter than that. Like, this is really dicey. 
Oh my goodness! Wow, that was a great move, Patty Boy. I'll give you credit for that one, buddy. Oh, and then you go and do something like that. I don't know. Oh boy, come on now. No! I didn't even see it. So there's there's no star. How does this make sense? This first part is very easy. This is this is definitely two out of four difficulty. Normal. This is this is all as it should be. And this is the section that they added stars as a level creator. Then, when the difficulty ramps up in a very, very, very serious way, then they opt, okay, no, I'm going to do this part legit? Do you know what I mean? How do you make sense of that? How do you make logical sense of that? A level like this, uncleared. The easy part, the level creator gave themselves an advantage. And then when the level gets super tough, magically no advantage. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I think there's probably more than meets the eye here. Maybe it's right before the room? Well, even then, the star's only going to get you through the first, what, 10 seconds of that, what seems to be a full minute. But if they, if, if they gave themselves a way to get through this, what I'm doing right now, you can be absolutely certain where it's 10 times more difficult, they gave themselves a little something there, too. The question is what? The question is what? Yeah, I don't think star. I'm not thinking star necessarily. No, yeah, no, I'm not interested in the second star. What I'm really interested in is what did the level creator do for themselves in this last area? That's the question I want the answer to. Maybe a hidden block in the last room? Or, really? You know what? Is is there a hidden key anywhere? Check the whole level for a hidden key. Because that is exactly what I'm talking about. Not just in the last room. I'm saying check the whole level. Take a take a good eye scan of the whole level. And tell me if you notice any sort, oh no, of hidden key. Because I'm betting it's there somewhere. I am betting it is there somewhere. Oh no, I'm getting it stuck. Oh, that was close. Wow! End this! <gasps> my heart is beating out of my chest. Oh my good gracious, it's over. We got the first clear, maybe? Unless someone got it before me, then maybe. Moment of truth. Now, the moment of truth. Oh my good gracious. I can't, I can't believe the chat's saying there's no hidden key. It just does, so there's just no logical explanation for the hidden stars at the easy part of the level. What is the, I guess maybe the explanation is impatience. Maybe as the level, I think that's it. Here's the story. Level creator makes this level. They get real good at the first half, but they're consistently failing at the end, trying to clear check it. After 20 attempts, they say, you know what? I don't, I don't want to have to keep doing this first section. So, so I can just do it mindlessly to clear check. I'm going to hide some stars so that I can make it through to the hard part quickly and then actually do the hard part. I bet you that's it. That makes, there's, it's at least a logical explanation for how you can have hidden stuff at the easy part and everything's for real at the hard part. That's as close to a logical little fairy tale I can come up with. I'm giving it a like. 
I'm giving it a like in spite of the hidden stars based on that story. Because based on that story, that really isn't uh, much of a violation. I'm going to say so tough. Because that was really something. Maybe, Sebastian. The truth is, it's all speculation. Fully speculative. There you go, yo. Shout out to yo. And there we go. There we go. The Fallen Castle. It's only 23 seconds. Good afternoon, Josh. <laughs> well, that's the thing. It was help in a very odd way. It just lets you get through for free, but not like... This looks like enemy spam, but we're going to try it. Excuse me. There were some crazy dodges in that last room. There were some crazy dodges. Okay, this is pretty wild. It's uh, the thing that makes me like it is the concept. It really is like an ant hill. Looks like we're looking for a P switch. Alright, we're good here. I'm afraid we're supposed to go... Oh? No, okay, so it's down to the right. We're going down into the right. But the good thing is, now that a little time has gone by, it's opened up quite a bit. Definitely a lot of waiting. But, for whatever reason, I have... I'm a lot more down with it if it fits a good theme. Okay, this is the top. Exit's probably bottom right. Oh my goodness, this is a legit maze, people. Okay, it's not bottom right. Okay, top right. Batty boy! Come on now. Alright, I can't believe it, but I actually really like that. But something about the theme, you know, it reminds me of that music level by Triscade. That was the uh, the song that never ends, and it was that insanely repetitive level. But I loved it because it fit the theme of the song that never ends so well. That felt similar, especially where they don't fall on your head. It felt like if there were shells on the ceiling. I I like that though. I'm down with it. I think it worked. It's a lot of ant troopers. Thanks, Christian, Jan, Fernando, Mary, Kiwi, and Susie. There you go. Jan was letting me know top right. The lamb chop level exactly. There we go. Cool. Cool. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Once was enough. Once was enough. And now, as a grand finale random challenge, not I shouldn't say challenge, as a random experiment, we're going to see what comes up for easy. For From e forever. All. There we go. Endless easy with that has at least a technical tag. Could be interesting. Uncleared easy level from of all time. So ideally we're gonna pull one up with an old date. This is interesting. Well, this is what I find interesting. <laughs> this is the sort of thing that I find interesting. I am uh I am very much a Mario Maker 2 fanatic. Okay, here we go. This one... Oh, they're all from yesterday and today. Okay, here's one from 2020. Un Wait. 
No, it has 42 clears. Huh. 2022, and this has a clear. Interesting. 2022, and this has clears. 2022 has clears. 2022 has a clear. Weird. I've never seen it bring up cleared levels. Interesting. So, there that the easy ones don't really go uncleared. They have to be relatively recent. A four minute level? Oh my gosh. Cuphead. A minute. All right, buddy. This will be our grand finale. Experimental challenge. Maybe it was the tags? That could have been it. Probably not a whole lot of technical easy levels in the first place. <laughs> Never mind uncleared. Okay, we have an arrow. Oh, we have effects. We have a house. Is that a Goomba? Hey, that was a little tricky. Alright. All right, Cuphead. No way. Okay, as soon as I made fun of it for being too easy, it goes and does that. One more. Now, how in the world are you supposed to know that's coming? I will not run to the right this time. I'm staying right here. No, the, uh, Josh said by not rushing forward. That's how to avoid it. Well, that became very obvious. But how would you know to not rush forward? There it is. They're laughing at me. It was a hot... To have... To go from having uh, flower power to insta-death is a very extreme consequence. There we go. Septi got it. That's my boy Septi. Okay. Uh, it was fine. I just wish the punishment wasn't so severe for taking two steps to the right when you enter the door with absolutely no indication that you're in peril for, uh, you know, instant. The instant takeout, people. It's not like, oh, you lose your flower. No, it's not, oh, now you're small Mario. No, it's no matter what state you're in, it's, you're, it's over. That, to me, punishment doesn't fit the crime. Okay. And that's going to do it for me, people. I will be back tonight. And you know what? We're going to do more races tonight. We're going to go for the early stream racing again tonight. And then we'll go for endless late night tomorrow. So that's what we're going to do, people. So I'll be back. That means I'll be back around 6 o'clock. Between 6 and 6.30. That's how Cuphead works. The whole concept of the game. I Well, I played some Cuphead. That's the worst feature of that kind of Mario, the dropping things take you out. Yeah, exactly. I don't think... I, I, I would not at all equate uh, getting crushed. Oh, you mean just that you can get insta-death? Okay. In any case, I will be back at between 6 and 6.30 for some more racing. And then I'll be... Uh, tomorrow we'll do 8.30 for Endless. People, everything's a big experiment. I have no idea what I'm doing. In any case, big shout out to Jedon. Thanks so much for being our super style leader. And everyone else that was kind enough to with any starships, follows, likes, gifted subs, all the above. Thank you so much for your love and support. And if you are someone that struggles with depression or anxiety, 
You are not alone in that struggle, my friend. That's something I struggle with, and there are a lot of us struggling. So if you're one of them, make sure you got someone in your life you can talk to about it. A friend, family member, loved one, or therapist, and try to get some movement in your life. Take a walk outside. Get your headphones in. Your favorite music playing can make a big difference in your day, your physical health, and your mental health. So I encourage you with that. Hold on to hopefully better days are coming because you never know. Tomorrow could be the best day of your life, but you got to get there to find out. So hang in there. I'm rooting for you. It's okay if you get discouraged. It's okay to feel down, but it's not okay to actually believe that there's nothing left for you here, that there's no good moment coming, there's nothing positive left here. No. That's what I am. Without needing to know anything specifically about your life, I can tell you with absolute guaranteed assurance there are some moments of joy in your future. I'm not saying all your problems are going to go away. I'm not trying to pretend maybe you got a diagnosis or you or your family. I'm not trying to give you false assurance here that that stuff isn't real. But I am telling you, in spite of all those very difficult circumstances you got going on, there are some amazing, possibly some of the best moments of your life ahead of you. And I'm telling you, when you're down, when you're really depressed, anxious, it can start to feel like it really, that's not the case. It can really, it can really feel like those, you've already, all the best moments are behind you. And all that's left is the drudgery or all that's left is the endless routine of life. I'm telling you, easy to feel that way. And I'm here to assure you. The feeling is a lie, people. The feeling is a lie. I'm rooting for you. It's okay to be in the struggle. If you're struggling out there, that means you're still in the fight. So I'm proud of you for making it this far. Definitely do not give up, people. That's the ultimate point of this message. Do not give up and believe it's at least possible that there's something amazing waiting for you right around the corner. I certainly am believing that, people. So maybe I'll catch up with you tonight between 6 and 6.30 for uh, some more racing for first clears. Let's see if we can figure out a real format for this. So, yeah, so thanks for everything, people. Hope to catch up with you soon. And until next time, have an amazing rest of your Tuesday. Bye, everybody.